Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo of the 2021 Volvo S90 and its 19 speaker, 1400 watt Bowers & Wilkins audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at the infotainment system, take a look at speaker locations, audio controls, audio inputs and adjustments, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, then we're going to get out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, feel free to skip right on into the middle of the video, we've got chapters that should show you right where each song begins. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at the car. The beautifully luxurious Volvo S90 sedan here in the inscription recharge trim. So this is actually a plug-in hybrid, but not the high performance oriented Polestar T8 version. This thing is all about smoothness and luxury and it does an excellent job at that. If you'd like to see more on the S90, check the links in the description. Now we always do these tests with lossless uncompressed WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at those now. Right here, the Volvo Census infotainment screen, working well as usual, they're always making it faster, and it's always been fairly straightforward to use. Though there's two ways to get to sound setting adjustments. We can pull down this top menu and go settings, sound, tone, you've got treble, bass, subwoofer, and then an actual multi-frequency equalizer here. You can do some presets. We'll go through some of those and then we'll kind of mess around with some of the other settings. Obviously you can go custom and really screw things up if you want to. Or if that's too much for you, Go up here, do treble. Bass. Or See how quick and responsive this screen is? I mean, this is like Tesla levels of screen feel and response. Very nice. Good refresh rate as well. On top of that, you've got fader and balance. You've got some system volume adjustments. And on top of all of those, you can go over to the side screen here and go to sound experience. That gives you some fun things to play with as well. There is a, uh, a 3D kind of surround sound setting. This individual stage allows you to change the intensity of the surroundness, as well as the degree of envelopment. Actually, I have to change to our next song. That's kind of a balance setting. There's also studio. So in studio all, this is going to be the most true to the real sound quality that you can get. You can also change that to driver. Focuses the studio sound on the driver. And then rear as well focuses the music on the back. On top of that, you have concert hall, which is supposed to emulate the Gothenburg, Gothenburg concert hall home of the Gothenburg Symphony Orchestra. And then, new for some of the newer Volkswagen, new for some of the newer Volvos, is Jazz Club. Supposed to emulate a jazz club in Gothenburg. For most of this one, we'll keep it in studio since that's the most true sound experience, but we'll also play around with individual stage and maybe concert hall as well. For volume adjustments here in the S90, we have a very nice volume knob right here in the middle. Easy to adjust, easy to use. You also have volume up and down on the right side of the wheel. Track selection, you've got physical buttons here. You can also do it from the now playing screen and you can go right and left on the other sides of the volume adjustments. For speaker locations, as I said, this is a 19 speaker system. So starting in the bottom left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In the back, you've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and in the rear deck lid, 16, 17, 18, 19. For audio inputs in the S90, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay functionality, USB-A, 
And that is it. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, you don't have a disc player and you don't have a USB Type-C. You also don't have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. Not too surprising here given 2021, but considering this is one of the best audio systems on the market, it would be nice to have more options for hi-fi audio streaming from a device or from a CD. Pretty much if you want to stream hi-fi audio from your Apple iPhone or Android smartphone, then you have to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Speaking of that, let's see how those work. Let's start off with Apple CarPlay. Now there is only one data USB port in the S90, so I'm actually going to have to stop the music, unplug my USB drive, and then plug in the iPhone. And there we go. It's fairly small on this screen, especially since it's vertical, so it's just kind of subjugated down there to the corner, but got your Apple Music, your settings, and your home screen, even though our maps aren't loading. Android Auto should be a fairly similar setup. And there we have it, similar screen layout to Apple CarPlay. Got your maps, YouTube Music, home screen, and settings. All right, let's get the music going again and get on the road. It's there and then it's gone. 
silence is just as important in music as noise. So for the Volvo to be able to provide such a, a strong sound and then take it right away again, have very, very little vibration or reverb, everything sounds so tight. It's just the best way to put it, tight and crisp. This next song, we're going to go into the bass settings, turn it all the way up, Let's see what it sounds like. The bass and subwoofer. Wilkins systems are the epitome of balance, crispness, and power, and I love them for it. All of the different sound modes are fun. Yeah, they border on gimmick, but I find them actually useful, so I don't think they're full gimmick. For example, earlier today I listened to a live track performed by one of my favorite bands, Delane, and I used the concert hall mode. It sounded more like it was really live. Listening to these systems allows every sort of music to bring out all of their different sounds. You'll notice elements in your favorite songs that you've never heard before come through in these systems. So because of that, this is a certified S tier sound system. Top rated, both objectively and subjectively. I mean, 70 grand, you start to get a little pricey, but you can get this excellent Bowers & Wilkins system in much cheaper Volvos as well. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoy yet another Bowers & Wilkins review. If you want to see more on the Volvo S90 or any of our older Volvos, check the links in the description and take a search on the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.